So guys, for the first step, you're gonna head over to search and type in CMD. Then you're gonna run it as administrator. And then click on yes. And then once you run this, you're gonna type in SFC space forward slash scan now. And then click on enter. Then you want to run this scan. We can run it in the background as you complete the next steps in the video. So you just wanna minimize this. And now for the second step, you wanna head over to search again and type in registry editor. Click on it. And then click on yes. And then once you run this, you can follow everything I'll be doing up here. So first you want to expand HK local machine. And then you want to expand system. And then you want to expand current control set. And then you want to expand control. And now you want to expand class. Just going to make this a little bit bigger. And now you want to look for the folder 36FC 9E60. And it's going to end in 4000. Zero zero. This one right here. You want to click on this folder, and now this will appear on the right side. And now once you're in this folder, if you have something that's called upper filters, like I do, if you have upper filters, you want to right click on it, and then click on delete, and then click on yes. Make sure that you do not have upper filters in this folder. And now for the next step, you want to head back to CMD. Make sure that your FCC scan now commands be completed, wait for it to be done. And then once it's been done, you want to copy and paste the last two commands which will be down below in the description. Copy and paste them one by one. So the first one is going to be set load options, this one right here. Control C to copy it. Now you just want to right click on the white tab, click on edit, and then click on paste, and then click on enter. Now for the second one, I'm going to copy this, Control C. You want to right click on the white tab, click on edit, and then click on paste, and then click on enter. Ignore this error on my screen. And now for the next step, you want to head over to search and type in reset this PC, click on it. Don't worry, we're not actually going to reset the PC. Instead, next to advanced startup, you want to click on restart now, and then click on restart now again. It will then take us into this screen. Now once we're here, you want to click on troubleshoot, advanced options, and then click on startup settings. If you do not see startup settings, you want to click on CMO recovery options, and then it should appear right here. So you want to click on startup settings, and then click on restart. Wait for this to load. And now once we're here, you want to disable driver signature enforcement. So you want to click on either 7 or F7 on your keyboard. Click on that. Wait for this to load. And now it's going to take us back into Windows and then the problem should be fixed. If the problem is still not fixed, just restart your computer and then the problem should be fixed. 